Yeah. Uh, we're so hip hop. We're so hip hop that even at uh, even at the promotion of the Umbrella Academy, we got a job in catering. Got a million dollar ring in my E2 pants. Yes, indeed, sir. God bless. Okay. Not your average so-called superhero story, I would say. Is that is that even? Yeah, right to, I, to describe it as a superhero story? I think so. I think uh, part of the archetypical superhero film is that they they sort of, you know, that they, you know, they get the girl and they save the day. And I think mm. our our series explores the, the necessity of failure. Underneath it all, there's a lot of love. Right. Between all of the siblings, yeah. specifically, especially with, with Diego and Klaus, yeah. uh, because even though they are the same age, there is a, uh, a big brother, a yeah. younger yeah. brother kind of dynamic. I was in high school when yeah. my yeah. chemical romance what popped I, through. What I learned as well was that Gerard was a cartoonist for DC before he uh, yes. Yes. took on starting a band. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, this was this was this was always. This was always his creative drive. You yeah. know, it was always bubbling away. And in fact, I believe he wrote the first two editions of, of uh, Umbrella Academy while on tour. Wow. On a uh -huh. Global tour. He wrote most of it. Right. He's on a bus going uh -huh. from gig to gig. Uh -huh. You know, the man is uh, incredibly industrious. How much um, Action physical uh, preparation did you have to undertake before taking on the role or even during? It was like, uh, you know, it was like trying to be Rocky, you know, for a little bit. Were you know. <laughs> Adrian? Yeah. No, it, it was, uh, it, there was a, a quite substantial amount of hard work physically yeah. that was, uh, that I had an input into seven months Whoa. of uh, shooting and uh, mostly no drinking and uh, <laughs> some, uh, uh, you know, martial arts and, you know, specific... Casey and uh, Krav Maga wow. and Taekwondo, Muay Thai. Whereas I became a, 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 a real pro in Drunken Master. <laughs> method. <laughs> really <laughs> gone method. Absolutely. We're both <laughs> very dedicated to our work. Ooh. Mm, smells like nothing. It tastes like a Mexican dish that we have, which is like, it's like fried, like batter. No, that one's called crumble meat. Crumble meat. I've gone for the pink box. It smells like rice. I think it might be rice based, this baby. Mmm. Mmm. Taste keeps revealing itself. I'd say there might be some onion or something, you know, there's some, some sort of spring onion going on in here. Ampin, Malingio. Wow, that's really good. That's really nice, yeah. I think this one's, this one might be our favorite so far. All right, oh, this one looks special. Like, a, almost like a Snickers smell. Yeah, it has nutty vibe. Oh. I think this is flour based. It's good. Rumbayak. Yeah. Nice one. Hello, Hello, Indonesia. Watch The Umbrella Academy starring me and him. Yes, get your friends, get your moms, get your dads, get your grandmas. Make a whole event of it, get some crackers in. Yes. You know, but yeah, watch the show. <laughs> What's good, internet? It's me, Ming, from The Ming Thing from Malaysia. And today I have Robert Shia and David Castaneda with us yeah. from the upcoming Umbrella Academy series on Netflix. We are going to be doing a little game called Eraser Battle. Are we ready? Are you going to be Mexico? I feel like I have to. I'll yeah. do it, guys. I'll just be Singapore. Yeah, because we're in Singapore, right? Let's begin. And watch me go. Oh, oh so oh. close. Aggressive start. Oh, so close, guys. This is We right, are this is close it. This to is the it. first point. Ah. So close, guys. Wait. Off the table. What if it falls, what if it falls off the table? Well, then it goes off the table. goes out of bounds, man. Guys, you just gotta, just if gotta you go off the table, adapt. the other person wins. So let's try. Oh! Who is your finger on that? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, Robert, it's your call. You want to go? Oh, oh, Robert gets the first point. Your question. Celebrating in reverse. <laughs> Celebrating. Robert, your question is, if you could have a superpower IRL in real life, what would it be? I think it would be the power to fly, just to avoid okay. traffic and stuff. Do you 
you feel confident about this one? Man, I'm gonna whoop his ass. Let's go for it. Come on, Dave. Let's flip. Okay. Oh my oh, god. What? Wait, you're supposed to be flipped over them? Just on top. So that's fine. Meteors are falling from the sky, and you can share your umbrella with one person. Who would that person be? Oh, it's gonna have to be Dave. It's gonna be ah, Dave. Speak. We're gonna go for one last right. question. High stakes winner takes all. Go for it. Go. It's a tight, it's a tight competition. This could be it. This is it. I, I gave it a win. This is the funniest thing that happened on set. Uh, you know, it was actually the ice cream van day. The car ended up smashing into a, a local bakery. And there were some ladies baking in the kitchen. Oh my. Hit the wall and all, the, all their equipment came flying off. Gentlemen, I think we have a winner. I would like to congratulate you for being the first intergalactic winner of the Eraser Battle. You get to keep all the Erasers. Really? Because you, you, you can have one. I'll have Don't a Singapore worry, guys. one. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for playing Thanks, with us. Mate. Thank you, brother. And we will see you guys on Netflix.